Hey, what's up? My name is Kevin. I'm the Helpful Hero, here to help you leverage the awesome power that is HubSpot. I know it's been a little while since my last theme update video, but I've got a really, really good one for you today, which introduces two new modules into the Clean Pro series the Versa Cards module, and then a brand new countdown timer. And I'm about to show you both of these and how you can start utilizing them today in your website. So let's just jump straight into HubSpot, where I've set up this quick demo page of Clean Pro version 71, which these modules are going to be released into. And we can scroll right down here and check out this new module. So the cool thing about this module is it's kind of a combo module. I've included the option for flexi cards, team profile cards, and testimonial cards, and I'll be adding more and more cards to this module as I continue to improve it based on your feedback. But these are three other existing modules within Clean Pro that I'm now combining into one super powerful and really awesome module, and I'm gonna show you just how much more capability and functionality that I've added to it. So let's just go ahead and start with the Flexi Cards module as a quick example. Now with this module, one of the big differences that you're gonna find is you can use this little option right over here to easily add a bunch of different cards. You can you know, drag and drop them to reorder how you want them to appear, which is gonna give you a ton more flexibility, especially as you're continuing to update certain web pages that utilize this module. But wait, there's more. The one thing that I added in here is the ability to actually create a load more button. So if you had say, I don't know, like 10, 20, 30, 40 cards and you didn't want to have them all on the page, you could quickly come in here and say, okay, what do I want? Pagination or maybe a load more button. So if we choose load more, come down here, you can set the number of cards that are visible on first load and then how many you want to load in. So for example, if we apply these changes, we'll cruise over here and reset this demo. And now we have this little option that just loads more in. The cool thing is we also have the option to do what's called pagination. So say for example, you wanted to create a series of cards right here and then you just want someone to be able to just slide through all of the different cards. It would look very much like this, what you might be used to if you're using the blog template. But for example sake, we'll cruise over here, we can hit number two, and then the next series of cards is going to slide in. So it's gonna give you a lot more functionality as you're utilizing this with a large number of cards. If you're only using three, four, five, six, seven, eight, whatever, um, probably not super useful, but for those of you that either have um, large bits of content where that's gonna become super powerful, well, built in for you. Okay, let's talk about another couple cool things. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off and talk about this ad filter. Now you've probably been seeing this in a few of the modules that I've updated along the way, but what you can do essentially is come in here, add the filter option. Of course, you can slide down here and you know, change the label, which would show up, or what's gonna appear in the dropdown. And also, specifically on the flexi cards, you can show tags on the card. I'll show you that in just a second. So let's go ahead and apply those changes. And now you're gonna see, obviously we have this filter right here. So what we can do is we can go into each of these cards. And you can kinda already start to see I have a couple different um, tags set up on these cards. So if we go down here and we're looking at Hawaii, so I can go ahead and add another filter class. We'll call this one Island as well. And you can add as many of these tags or these filter tags as you want on each of these cards. Just simply click add and go ahead and add it in. So now if we look back here at our module, you can see our tags are represented and we can easily come down here, choose Island or choose mountain and you're going to have all of those um, really easy for your customers or people viewing your websites to find and navigate this section of your page okay let's go let's keep on going so if we go back to this module here let's go ahead and jump into the team profile cards now if we apply these changes you're going to see that this is going to easily reflect um, 
very much what you've been used to in the existing team profile cards option two module. It just now has a lot more power because you have the filters, you have the load more or the pagination all built in. Of course, the one thing that you can do as part of this is you can go into the styles tab where you're going to have unique styles for each of the different card types. Things like the background color, the alignments, um, rounded corners, and so on and so forth. So as you select between each of these different cards, so let's go back to the flexi cards really quick, you'll see that when we go into the styles tab, you'll have its own properties right there so that you can style these according to your own brand guidelines. Last but not least is the testimonial cards and it follows the exact same approach. So it has that standard um, testimonial card, which you're already used to, but now with even more functionality. Okay, let's move on to the next module and that is the all new countdown timer module. Now, over the years, I've gotten a lot of feedback on the existing module that has been part of Clean for a while, and well, it's been made even better. So now if we go under Start here, there's gonna be options to actually set a date and time right here, and so select your time zone. This is one of the things that the original module was missing and made it a little bit challenging for a lot of people that had um, people viewing their website from different parts of the world in different time zones. So now you can easily select what time zone the actual event is happening in. Um, also, one important thing to point out is there is the option for daylight savings time. So if you live in a place or your event's being held in a place that is currently observing daylight savings time when this event is going on, make sure you go through and select that as well so that this countdown timer works right now. Today, there are 977 days, five hours, nine minutes, and 32 seconds until May 4th, 2026, which is quite a ways away, but at any rate, um, this is all set up for you. Also, the other thing that was added in is now the ability to set some text that displays once the event has passed. So if you have an event set out and the timer counts down, reaches zero, it'll then give you the option to display a specific message, call to action, or whatever you might want to um, entice someone viewing this event. And with that, there's been a few other minimal updates. One of the most popular requests is the addition of Twitter's new X icon, which is now and the global footer, the side menu, and across all of the modules that contain the original Twitter logo. With that, I'm out. Thank you again for all of the feedback along the way. It makes Clean Pro one of the top rated themes on the HubSpot platform. And without you, it probably wouldn't be. So again, thank you for all of you who have submitted different feedback through the modules um, submission forms. It really means a lot and really helps me prioritize how I can make things even better and more awesome for you. All right, I'm out. Have a great day. Bye.